Hi and welcome. It's Amber here and I am super intimidated by boat week. So I am going to paint this quick little painting for you. It's intuitive, which means I did not plan any of it out. I didn't pick my colors. I didn't think of anything, but I grabbed the pink. I love pink. This is a coralish pinkish color from a handmade paint maker. And I am going to mix it with another little bit of a pink and just kind of play with that color for the sky. I'm going to keep it super simple because again, I'm already intimidated by these boats and I don't want to overcomplicate things. So this is perfect kind of thing to do if you're intimidated. And in my mind, I think I thought, okay, silhouette, silhouette, right? I can do a boat silhouette versus painting out all these little details on a boat. Uh, po boats don't come naturally to me. And so... I was just hoping and hoping that maybe I could do a silhouette and I am using a mop here to get these colors on for my sky. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to add a horizon and I'm going to use some blues here, um, deep sea, some ocean blue, some maybe indigo, some darker blues. I don't often call out my colors, uh, but I will start doing that on a Patreon and since that will be, I think that will be my platform where I will be sharing more color color mixes, color ideas, colors that I use specifically. I've never really done that too much of that. I, you know, if somebody asks me a color, I'm happy to tell you, but very rarely do I go through a whole painting and tell you which colors I'm using, mainly because I don't want you to go out and buy those colors. But I've found that some of the core people that follow me have the same colors as I do, and maybe they want to explore with those colors. And so I'm much more open to doing that. And so I'm going to do that on Patreon. I thought that would be a fun place to do that, keep it there, kind of keep something special and unique to Patreon so that people there have, uh, you know, a special thing there. Anyway, I am using a Christie Rice brush here. I very quickly got in that water, as you saw with that mop brush as well. I'm using a Christie Bryce, Christie Bryce, Christie... <laughs> Christy Rice round brush. Can I say that fast? Apparently not. So I'm using this very small brush to suggest a boat, right? Is this the perfect boat? Absolutely not. Does it consist of all the boat anatomy? No, it doesn't. And that's okay. That is okay. So you have the fun sky, the fun background. And I wanted to keep this rustic. I wanted to keep this boat simple. Um, I don't think I succeeded personally and that's okay. I can try again or I cannot try again if I decide that it's not really my thing, right? And it's all okay. Um, but trying is, I think is really important to keep going and to keep exploring these things, even if they're not your thing. And you feel like maybe what I did here, I did a little bit, I kept adding and adding and adding. So instead of stopping and maybe I don't know, gathering my thoughts or something. I just kind of kept going and it didn't exactly work how I'd hoped it would. Again, I, I'm not a drawing person. I, I can't draw. I struggle with it. It's something that does not come naturally to me at all. I can't see things in my head. So shapes, perspective and all that, it doesn't come naturally. Do I understand it? Yes, I do understand it. I've taken classes. I've taken, um, college course classes on perspective, right? I went to school for interior design. So I have that background of perspective. We did a lot of perspective in drafting classes and whatnot. So I get that. Am I good at it? No, but I do understand how it works. <laughs> so even though I have all these things that I understand, doesn't mean I can do it. And, and that's okay too. I accept where I am at the time, right? Maybe I'll be able to do it down the road better than I can now. And that's something that I've just learned to work with and be okay with, right? We all have our strengths. We all have our weaknesses. Some have more strengths, some have more weaknesses. And I have to be okay with what I have or don't have. And so that's how I'm embracing that. And I'm trying to keep this very simple so that if you maybe perhaps struggle with the same things that I'm struggling with, you have a fighting chance as well. And maybe you won't be as intimidated to do this either. Because this week, I just was not looking forward to boats. You know, maybe the tiny rowboat out in the middle of the water I was okay with. And I didn't quite succeed in what I was hoping for yet this week. I do have Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday night, tomorrow night, and Saturday night to paint. Um, I paint the night before and then post the day of. So I have those two nights to fiddle with some more and try a few more tutorials maybe. Or maybe just do some, you know, carefree, intuitive skies and waters again and just tossing a little boat out in the you know maybe it's a what are those boats that you get not a, like a raft that you get rescued in I don't know <laughs> I'm just really struggling with this week and I just want you to let you know that it's okay if you're struggling too and it's okay if you're discouraged or you don't even want to paint this week I didn't really want to paint this week either here I am what is it day 95 96 or something 
and I'm still trying to embrace it. We're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. I did add some shadows in the water just to kind of give the water some depth and some idea of that, of a shadow. It didn't go very, you know, hardcore on that sea. As you can tell, there's not much texture to it. It's just very simple. And sometimes that's all you can do. Sometimes, you know, I'm going to tweak that sailboat thing in a minute here because yes, I, <laughs> I keep playing with it because it's just not natural. But you know what? Maybe the wind caught it really funny and that's just what it's doing right now. It's billowing in an awkward angle and I don't know. I, I'm, I almost wasn't going to post this, but I did post it to my other, to Instagram and I felt like it got a, it got, you know, I wouldn't say it got much, but it didn't get much, but it, people appreciated that the fact that I tried. And so I'm hoping that goes over here as well. And I just want you to know that, you know, trying is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect and you can still post it even at its imperfections. It's just paper. It's just paint. It's just paper. It's just a little bit of our time and it's a good experience to be uncomfortable, right? Uh, cause I, the, with the sky and the water, you know, that was my comfort and then throwing in this silhouette was not. And I don't know. I guess I'm okay with it. I'm getting better at it. Better at being okay with where I am in this journey, right? I, I'm never going to achieve perfection. I don't want to. That's not, my, that's not my thing, right? My thing is to encourage you all to have fun with this, to explore, and, you know, ideally to travel together, <laughs> you know, if you're interested in traveling with us, that's something, those are the things that really, you know, light me up and I'm passionate about and supplies and fun supplies and handmade supplies, so anyway, okay, I think I'm about to give up on that boat, but here are my little soft, little delicate birds. This Shimoni brush, this rigger size two is the perfect bird brush for me right now. It just does the most delicate birds and that's the way I like it. Just two of them, just subtle little light birds. And see, I won't leave that sailboat alone and I wish I would, <laughs> but trust me, I'll be done. I will be done with it. I will leave it and just be done. All right, favorite time, tape peel. And again, this isn't the most amazing piece, but it doesn't have to be. And I want you to just try something, even if it's not comfortable and it's uncomfortable and it makes you feel maybe even awkward. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And even if you don't try it, maybe they gave you ideas for an easy sky or an easy water or an easy seascape. And that's about it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.